Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to explain what brought me back to Whoop after almost a year of shoving it in a drawer somewhere. As some of you may know, Whoop is a fitness tracker that's kind of taking the world by storm. Some of the biggest athletes in the world, like LeBron James, Michael Phelps, and Katrin Davis Dutter are now sporting a Whoop. Talk about how these metrics for workouts and recovery and sleep are absolutely essential to their success. Now, I've been a Whoop user for three-ish years now, and I've always been kind of on and off. I remember when I first started out, I was very diligent about wearing it and super interested in my sleep scores, what it said about my strain in a workout and how I recovered for that day. But as the time went on, I realized that I shouldn't need a tracker to tell me how hard I worked in a workout and how recovered I was. I should be able to figure that out for myself. Therefore, I had a two year period of being a very sporadic Whoop user. Now, when the Whoop 3.0 came out about a year ago, I was very happy about getting new bands that fit better and a more specific tracking method, but I still had issues with the product. I go more in depth into those issues in this video where I compare the Whoop 3.0 with the Aura Ring, but once again, I couldn't really recommend the Whoop to my clients or my friends because it wasn't something that I was using all the time. The tracking was cool, but did I really need to be tracking everything all the time? Who's to say? Hmm? I don't know. Fast forward, the Whoop 4.0 has been released and I'll skip to the punch. I think it's worth it now. If you've been on the fence about getting a Whoop, I believe you will not be disappointed now that their newest model has been released. Let's break it down. When the Whoop 4.0 came out, I wanted to test it to see if they had made some of the big changes that they promised. And in that testing period, I got a notification when I woke up one morning that my respiratory rate was elevated. I should just be aware. That's also the day that I tested positive for COVID. I know this is anecdotal, but truly that this app could tell that I had COVID and probably should test that day. I mean, it's pretty wild to me and pretty invaluable. It's not foolproof by any means, but it's pretty damn cool. One of the niftiest parts of the new Whoop 4.0 is all of the reports that it can send you. You'll get a breakdown of your respiratory rate, blood oxygen, resting heart rate, heart rate variability, skin temperature, and while we are not exactly to the point where these metrics would be used to diagnose disease, I can definitely see a world down the road where you could email these reports to your doctor instead of having to go in for a yearly physical. Whoop makes it so easy to access these reports and the long-term data can also be really helpful to compare from year to year if you end up using your Whoop consistently during that time. One of the pieces of the Whoop app that has been really beefed up is their Your Journal. Basically, you can decide what habits you wanna track so that you can make correlations with your recovery. They've had this for a while, but they've just ramped it up a bit. So for example, every morning I ask myself if I traveled on a plane, drank alcohol, took creatine, did gratitude journaling, or read before bed. And just deciding what habits to track and being able to tick those things off the list every morning, I just love how much data this gives me. And my last big win for the Whoop is that they chose to upcycle the Whoop 3.0s. Now, not only is this a brilliant business move, but I also think it's really great from a sustainability standpoint. Basically, when you upgrade to the Whoop 4.0, they send you a new band so that you can give your 3.0 to a friend. They get two months free, and if they actually buy a subscription, then the gifter also gets a month free. This is just so, so cool, brilliant. I think it's so great. Okay, moving on from the pros. Really quickly, I do feel like I need to mention the part of Whoop that I still need them to fix. I'm back on my Whoop game because of the amazing features of the 4.0, but that does not mean that the product is perfect. So. Let's take a look. Obviously, your wearables need to charge, right? But I can't get into a rhythm with how much I need to charge my Whoop and when. Especially because you wear it all the time, it's just super annoying to me to charge the little battery pack, then put the battery pack on and not really know how long it needs to charge for and if the battery pack is fully charged. I know this sounds stupid, but charging the Whoop is one of the biggest reasons why I'm ever inconsistent with wearing it. Secondly, aerobic capacity work, like distance running, is still overstrained. I've looked a lot into how Whoop does their strain calculation, and I still think that if this is meant to be a calculation that is a cross fitness medium so that you can compare strain for CrossFit versus running versus wrestling versus dancing, there needs to be a way to equalize those scores more. I'm still noticing a huge discrepancy between my functional fitness workouts and my long runs where I will die in functional fitness for 40 minutes and get a strain of 10 and then do a 60 minute recovery jog and get a strain of 16. They have to figure this out. I think it's probably the most pressing problem with the Whoop. And I'm really hoping that it's not 
a hardware problem that they can figure it out in some software. And lastly, one of my least favorite things about the Whoop is that the band gets gross after a while and you have to buy a new band. I would say the band usually lasts about a month and even after washing it, there was no coming back after it started to smell mildewy. The fix here is that I have stopped allowing it to get fully submerged in water. Whoop says that you can shower with it on, but I highly recommend you do not do that uh, because the strap will stay in much better condition. And that is it. I can honestly say that with this new model of the Whoop, I'm a big fan and I'm super excited for y'all to try it out for yourselves. On this channel, I am constantly looking at different fitness trends, products, supplements that we as consumers are being sold so that I can help you decide if something is really worth your money or if it's a cash grab. If you have any ideas of what products you'd like to see in the future, leave me a comment below, but otherwise I will see you back next time.